Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today we are going to take a first look at the brand new Microsoft Project Mocha. It's a preview. Once it becomes broadly available, it'll be called Outlook Spaces. Why is it called that? What can you do with it? How do you even get it? We're going to answer all of those questions today. First off, why is it called Project Mocha? It turns out there is a popular project management framework called Mocha and it's a spin on that name. So what can you do with it? Well, if you've ever worked on a project before, you know that you have all these different artifacts related to the project in all of these different apps. For example, you have email messages, you have calendar invitations, you might have tasks, you might have files, you might have notes, and they're spread all over the place. You have to go to all these different apps to get to each one of those. Outlook Spaces or Mocha aims to solve that by bringing all of that content together into one place. The best way to think of it is it's kind of like a cross between a whiteboard, a planner, and then also a sway. All right, let's jump on the PC. And first off, I wanna show you how you can get Project Mocha. To access Project Mocha, head to the website outlook.com and then log in with your Microsoft account. To be able to use Project Mocha, you need a premium Microsoft 365 account and it's currently in preview, so you might not have access yet. Once you're in your Outlook inbox, in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the in-app navigation. Here I could jump to my mail, my calendar, people, files, tasks, and at the very bottom there's now a new icon for Project Mocha. It's somewhat hidden away, but let's go ahead and click on that and let's see what we could do with Project Mocha. This drops us on the start page for Project Mocha and there are two different ways I could start a new space. Up at the top, I could choose from one of these existing five templates to start my new space or down below, I could simply create a new blank space. Over on the right hand side, you'll see existing spaces that I have. At the Kevin Cookie Company, we're using Project Mocha to track all of our lawsuits as well as our new cookie development. We recently sent out a customer satisfaction survey and I wanna create a new space to track the results from that survey. This opens up a dialogue where I can start defining all of the details of my new space. First, I need to give it a name. Down below, I can indicate all of the people who are associated with this project. When we build out our project, it's gonna pull in related emails, meetings, tasks. By entering these email addresses, you're gonna help spaces or Project Mocha pull in relevant materials. Next, I could enter in different keywords. This will also help as Project Mocha pulls in related emails and events. I wanna simply create a new blank space, so I'm all set filling out the details. Next, I'll click on Create. This drops me in a new blank canvas and I can now start building my space. Within the experience to orient you, we have some controls over on the left-hand side and there's another set of controls over on the right-hand side. Let's click on the top icon first over on the right-hand side. This opens up all of my activity. Now, if you remember from the previous step, I typed in people who I work with on this project and I also typed in some keywords. Here you can see that Project Mocha or Spaces has pulled in a number of messages related to those keywords and those people. If I look here, I see an email from Nestor with the favorite cookie results. This is gonna be relevant to the satisfaction survey results, so I'm gonna click on this email and then pull it over onto my space. Along with pulling in messages, I can also pull in calendar events. Over here, I'll click on the events tab, and here I see we have a Kevin Cookie Company pick tomorrow. I know it's November, it's getting a little colder, but the prices were a lot cheaper for a company picnic, so I figured it was a good time to host it. To add content to my spaces, I can also do it outside of spaces. Here's that same email that Nestor sent me with results from our satisfaction survey. One of the questions was, what is your favorite type of cookie? It looks like chocolate chip cookie came out on top with peanut butter as a close second. Now, if I wanna bring this email into my new space, I can click on the ellipses up here or the more actions menu, and there's now a new option called add to project Mocha. When I hover over this, I can choose the space that I wanna bring this email message to. Back within spaces, I can click on the second icon on the right hand side, and here I can see any emails or meetings that I added from Outlook, and then I can pull that onto my space. Now I already have this card on my space, so for now I'm going to remove this from the canvas. This is one additional way to get content into your space. Now that I've put both an email message and a meeting invitation onto my space, one of the neat things is the space and the content within the space are connected to the original content. 
Here, for example, I see the email message from Nestor. If I click on the ellipses or the dot, 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 I can then open this in a new tab. When I open this in a new tab, here I see the specific email message. For now, I wanna bring this image into my space, so I'll copy this image and then I'll paste it into my space. When I paste it, it adds it as a new note. Over on the right hand side, the third option here is a settings gear. When I click on this, this will open up the dialogue again. Let's say you wanna adjust the people who are associated with the project or some of the keywords to say pull in more email messages or more calendar meetings, you can do that here. Now that we've looked at the controls on the right hand side, let's shift our focus to the controls on the left hand side to see what we can do here. Right now we see a set of icons, but it might not be entirely clear what all of these different icons do. If we go down to the bottom of the list, we can expand the toolbar and we can see what each individual item is. Starting from the top, if we click on this top item, we can very quickly navigate between our different spaces. I could also jump back to the start page for spaces and down below I can also add a new space. To continue building out this space with our customer satisfaction survey results, next I want to add a note. It's very easy to add one of these items to our space, I simply hover over it and you see a hand icon appear. I can then click on it and drag it over onto my space. The nice thing about this note is it automatically syncs with sticky notes on Windows. For this note, I'm going to call this open new location. Next, I'm going to enter in where all of the viewers from this YouTube channel want us to open our next location for the Kevin Cookie Company. It turned out that India was number one, so people really seem to want us to open a location there, followed by Chicago, Manila, and then someone said a test. I'm not quite sure where that is, but I think it's a testa in Corsica. When I open up the Sticky Notes app on Windows, here I see that it automatically synchronizes with any of my notes from Spaces, so it all relies on the same backend service. With the last item in the list, a test, I really want to know where that is. If I go back over onto the left hand side where I have my toolbar, if I click on more, I see that I can add a location card. Let's add a location card for a test to see where this is. Next, it'll ask me to enter a location, so I'll type in a test, and I believe they meant a testa, so I'll type that in. Here I see a list of all of the a testa locations, and it looks like it's in Corsica, France. Let's click on that. This opens up a map card that I can now move around on my space. The space is starting to take shape. I'm not just limited to adding content over on the left or over on the right. I can also paste in content. On our satisfaction survey, one of the questions was, how was your last visit to the Kevin Cookie Company? I copied the results and here I wanna paste it into my space. I'll press Control V and it automatically pastes it into a new note. When I expand the note, here you can see the results from all of our customers. I also wanna add a task for our company picnic tomorrow and I want to make sure I announce the results. Here I'll click on task and I'll drag that over. Now just like with sticky notes, how the notes sync with sticky notes, tasks syncs with Microsoft to do. So once again, Spaces isn't creating new content, it's simply bringing all your content together in one place. I've pulled together a whole bunch of different resources on my space and I want to start organizing things. Over on the left hand side again, I'll click on bucket. I want this bucket to contain some of my resources related to the customer satisfaction survey. For instance, Kevin Stratford's URL, let me drag that into resources. I also want to take this map and I'll drag that in as well. When I drag it over the bucket, I could position it above the first item or below the first item. So I could arrange how I want items to appear within a bucket. I want to differentiate my resources from all of my different cards on my space. When I hover over resources, I see an ellipses or a dot 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 and I could adjust the color on this. I'll set my resources to green. Along with setting a color, I can also set a due date and that'll add an item to my calendar with that due date. With a space, and one of the really great things is you can arrange things how you want. You can click on a card and you could drag it wherever you want. I'm gonna place the resources over on the left hand side. 
Along with dragging and dropping my cards on the canvas, I can also click on the canvas itself. When I do that in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see what's currently in the view of the canvas. I can drag the canvas around to look at different areas. Like I said, it's a pretty massive canvas and you could position things wherever you want on the canvas. Especially if you start getting a large project and you have a lot of different cards on your space. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner, you can zoom out to see more of your canvas and and you could also zoom in if you wanna see some very close up detail of your cards. All right, that was a first hand look at Project Mocha. Let me know what you think down below. Is this a product that you see yourself using? If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. To see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Also drop me a note down below in the comments if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.